Hi everyone, both Canada and Australia are equally great countries. But if I were to ask you which country would you prefer to study in and what factors will influence your decision, would it be work opportunities, cost of studying, if you are curious to know what set these two countries apart and want to have a clearer understanding, then this video is for you. The number one point of comparison is education system and universities. Canada is an international research leader and has some of the best universities with the likes of McGill University, University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, University of Alberta, etc. These universities have a reputation as Ivy League universities. On the other hand, Australia has the group of eight universities. Australia is known for its facilitator mode of teaching which truly gives the students the practical exposure that they need. If I were to compare, Canada has very few universities and more colleges that offer short-term courses and diploma programs. While Australia has some really good universities apart from group of eight as well, so in terms of education and university rankings, Australia wins. Number two, tuition fees. As I said earlier, Canada has more colleges. So it's obvious that PG diplomas are more popular and are quite affordable as well, costing somewhere around 10 to 11 lakhs per year. But the master's program at top universities will cost 25 to 30 lakhs. On the other hand, the average tuition fee in Australia is 20 to 25 lakhs. So in terms of affordability, Canada is better. But making it into a top Canadian university isn't a piece of cake. Number three, scholarships. Both Canada and Australia offer plenty of scholarships. Some of the scholarships that you can look into Canada are Vanier CGS Scholarship, Canada Asia Pacific Awards, etc. While Australia offers Australia Award Scholarship, Destination Australia, Australian Government Research Training Program, etc. Both countries offering multiple scholarships is a win-win situation for students. Number four, jobs. Most popular job sectors in Canada are teaching, pharmacy, finance and construction whereas Australia has high paying jobs in healthcare, engineering and mining sectors. The average salary after completing a master's in Canada is upwards of 65,000 Canadian dollars per year whereas this figure goes much higher in the case of Australia. So it's a win for Australia. Lastly, we compare this on the basis of post-study work visa and PR. Post-study work visa after completing a master's can range between two to three years in Canada, whereas Australia is quite generous with post-study work visas, which can be as high as four to six years. But don't let these numbers fool you because getting a PR in Canada is very easy. On the other hand, it is possible in the case of Australia, but it's a long process. So with this, we come to an end. Both countries are exceptional. It is you who will decide what suits you best. What is your long-term goal? Do you want to settle there or do you want to study and come back to India? It's important to thoroughly understand the pros and cons of both countries and do your homework well. If you found this conversation engaging, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Leverage Edu. Thank you for watching.